Alright guys, to start off the build, I have to measure how wide the base is, and I have a 15 by 6. Now, what I'm going to be doing is making it wider so that the cabinet isn't going to be tilting and shaking. You need it to have a pretty decent wide base, so I'm going to make mine about a 12 by 20. The next thing you're going to have to measure is how tall this table part is from the ground. And mine is 13 inches. So if I decide I want my saw to be at 42 inches right here when I'm cutting it through, then I need to subtract 13 inches. And that's how tall my cabinet will be because I'm going to end up setting this on top of here. So my cabinet is going to be about 30 inches high. So I'm going to be using this 3 quarter inch particle board and I really like this stuff because it's really smooth, really flat and it's a lot cheaper than plywood. So now I can go ahead and rip the side pieces which I need two of, the top and bottom pieces which I also need two of, and one back panel which I only need one of. a quick preview the sides the side top and bottom and basically it all makes this box without a front on it so now I need to cut out the back piece for it so my table saw isn't actually big enough to cut 28 inches so I set up a straight edge and I'm gonna use my circular saw I'm ready to start putting some pocket hole screws in this and if there's any camera movement then I just want to let you know it's all because of this. Before I go ahead and put pocket hole screws in the sides of these and connect them together so it's all one box, I need to put them on the bottom so that I can screw in the back piece too. What I like to do is pop a clamp on my pocket hole system so when I'm using it, it isn't trying to move around everywhere. And now I don't have to worry. So I simply take my board, put it on my mark that I have, clamp it down, and I can just drill this out now. It gives me these perfect pocket holes. Now before I go ahead and start screwing this together, what I need to do is drill out holes on the bottom of this so I can attach that back piece as well. One long piece, 
set them next to each other. Make sure that both of the holes are going downward and then just screw it all in. I think if I stand the piece up like this that it will be easier to put in. on the bottom and if I just set it on here and screw it right through here this is only three quarters of an inch and it wouldn't be that strong so what I'm gonna do is take a couple scrap two by fours and I'm gonna put them under here and I'm gonna screw it in so it gets screwed into the two by four so I'm gonna add 